Hello everyone, my name is Maxime Chagno. I'm a Katia consultant working for PLM Technology in Norway. And today I'm going to perform a live demonstration on the 3D Experience release 19X on CLAD. And this is the seventh edition of Design Fast tutorial. And today I want to reply to one of my followers that asked me if I could make a wind turbine blade. So before we continue the video, I just want to say that I'm neither a class A surface designer or uh, aeronautic designer. So what I'm going to do is just a, a simple blade uh, using Imagine and Shape, that is the, the clay modeling application of Katia, because I want to make a part that can be re reused for rendering purpose or um, presentation purpose, demonstration purpose, but not for real uh, simulation or uh, real wind turbine blade. Uh, the real way would be to use, of course, either MATLAB or uh, an Excel sheet that can make this kind of uh, NACA profile, that is the profile used for uh, aeronautic, for uh, plane wing or, uh, or other things like that. So I'm just going to make a simple uh, blade that you can redo yourself on Imagine and Shape. Okay, let's start by making a 3D part first. Wind turbine blade. And I will switch to a geometrical set. I will make a geometrical set and uh, I will call that help because we are going to make a point and a plane in generative shape design. So the reason I'm doing that is because uh, later on, uh, if you feel like the blade is not long enough, you can always scale it at the size you want. So therefore I'm making a point at the origin that could be used for a scale. And also I will just put uh, a plane at 1000 millimeter, change the direction. So one meter, okay. Just to give, like to help me in my design. That's a nice unity, a unit here for uh, making a blade, one meter, I mean. And I will add another geometrical set that I will call blade. And here I will switch to Imagine and Shape. As you can see, I have a lot of applications, so I will just write Ima for Imagine and Shape. And here we are now in Katia Imagine and Shape. Okay, I will. You know, you can start by either making a simple cylinder or a bit more advanced cylinder with several uh, faces. And I will select this one instead. And a nice feature you should know in Katia Imagine and Shape is you have this view selector by clicking on Y, the Y letter on your of your keyboard, that allows you to move directly in 3D. And here, up right view, this is exactly the view I want to start my design with. So I will start by making this cylinder. As you can see in 3D, it looks like a cylinder with eight faces. I will just always use this feature here. And what you can do is to move it manually, but if you're not very, if you want to have a very nice uh, positioning, just click on uh, this X, Y, Z uh, tab and just put zero in X and zero in Z. Okay. And what I will do now is I will just select this face here on the, the extremity basically. So you can move it slightly over uh, this plane, slightly over because you can always cut it later in the future with this plane here. And same with the other side, I will put it slightly over the 1000 millimeter just slightly over okay so that was the uh, first thing to do uh, adjust it to uh, the two planes you can of course rotate a bit this uh, solid so you can select everything and you see huh, i clicked on this button here it select all the points and i will use the translation feature okay or in that case, it's not very important to have it perfectly on the zero, zero degree or <laughs> origin. I just want to basically 
have it uh, more or less vertical and horizontal. And you can also put back the robot at the zero mode. Okay, so that's pretty good, except that I think the cylinder is a bit too big. So I will use the feature affinity. Oops, uh, it was this one. Affinity in order to reduce the height and the width of my uh, of my blade. So I will just make it more more or less cylinder. Can click on escape. If you are not happy, you can edit or use Control Set to edit your design. In that case, I could. Of course, select all the point and just reduce a bit the height. It does not need to be uh, perfectly, perfectly uh, cylindrical because the blade is will not be actually cylindrical. So uh, let's now cut our design, our subdivision, as you can see, subdivision surface. Only one cut for the moment. You select a, a line. Or you can also move a bit uh, the orientation of the cut and uh, we will put it a bit more uh, on this area of the blade. Okay. Okay, so you have the cut here and I will work on the other extremity of the part. And what I will do is I will just squeeze a bit this cylinder to reduce the extremity using affinity. Again, affinity to start, and after we will use, uh, we'll just m more or less make the, the Nakia profile. So, sli slightly also in this direction, in the X direction, huh? not too much, just a bit, like that, and a bit more in the Okay, it looks it looks good to me. I will just now improve a bit this uh, profile here by moving using translation this time and moving some points. Uh, why? Okay, and you want to have oops, control Z. You want to select this point and this one. Put it a bit more higher. Same for this one and this one. Control for multi selection. And maybe this one. It's, it's not perfect on the result, but it will get a bit better after. You will see. Uh, so that's what we want this kind of wave profile on the end. Okay, escape. Oh, we can see it a bit better now. Okay, I will now go on top view and I will translate a bit the three last points. So if you click on, on shift, you can uh, do a multi, uh, multi selection on drag and dropping. You can see that's three points here. I want to move and I go back to top view. Okay, and you want to move them It. Oh, wait a second. I did a mistake here. So no problem, Control Z, if you are not happy with that. I would like to do another cut here, like that. Okay, and I will move that again a bit more closer to the end. Yes, okay. Uh, I think it worked. Yes, because now I can select these three points here and I will move them a bit like that to just give a small shape here. You can even move it on the X. And same for this one, the tree in the bottom, we'll move it a bit more like that. You can even make this kind of diagonal line uh, to give this nice shape of the blade a bit more even. What I like with uh, Imagine and Shape is that you can always edit your design. Huh? That's the point, it's clay modeling, so 
Here, for example, I feel this is too long, so I will just select this three point here and just move it back there. Okay, so uh, on the top view, it's uh, looking pretty good to me. So now, of course, when I move like this, you can see that this uh, profile is way too uh, thick. So we will just uh, do again this affinity uh, feature to reduce a bit the, 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 the thickness of this blade. Okay, so uh, you select this point here and you want to select affinity. And I will go back to this left view. And here there is no real uh, ratio. Huh? You just reduce it, not too, too little because you still want to work with it. So this one looks actually good. If I escape, okay, it's already a bit better. And I will continue making this uh, Naka profile. Alors again, hein, it's not real Naka, it's just a similar profile. And you will um, select the point and translate. Hein? And you select the point. So we want this one here. Hein? You put a bit more like that and higher. So here it's really a job of uh, twisting um, a bit the point on to obtain the, the shape you want. And again, as I told you, if the result is not what you want, you can always edit what you have done. So we can see it a bit better now, this shape here, okay. It's actually look pretty good in 3D, but it's not over yet. Um, what I will do now is make this, this uh, edges or extremities uh, not sharp because in that case it's very sharp. So I will cut again this line here and I will move in the other direction like that. Okay, escape when you are done. And here we will edit these edges. So select edge and not point. You can also select loop because we know that this is a loop. And I will use this feature here to transform this edge into a smooth edge. Escape, and now we have a, a very nice smooth edge, so it is pretty good. And this edge here, I want to make it sharp, so I want to do the opposite. So I will do the same here. I edit, I will select manually using control, and this one here, and now I will put it sharp. Uh, and because uh, if I go back to this view, uh, now we have more or less this nice aerodynamic profile here. It looks uh, already a bit better. Okay, so that is pretty good for a blade. And I will just finish by slightly rotate this blade to give it a bit of an angle, like three or six degrees angle, just to make it a bit uh, twisted. Looks a bit better. And for doing that, it's very simple. You select not the edge, but the face. Let's select this face here, okay, by using shift and rotation here. You are now in the left view. And of course, you can twist, but of course, like it's a lot of angles. So we just put tiny, tiny angle like that, even more. Okay. And now it's twisted. So you have a, a pretty nice blade. We can also, uh, so that's the surface. And so we, we want to make it as a solid maybe. So we can, for example, uh, remove that face here using face cutting or face erase. 
and I will select this one, control with the other one. I'll be careful to not select the one behind. Huh? Okay. And now it's a, it's a hole. No problem for that. Alors, we could also uh, make some ribs in it. Huh? For example, you, you add another geometrical set, you make a rib, you make a sketch, an extrude, etc. But here, it's not the point of the video, uh, especially for rendering purpose. So I will just uh, delete that. But feel free to make it. Huh? It's very simple, uh, line and uh, trim. And what I will do now is go back to the part body and go to part design. And you can go in your model. And what you can do is a fix your face. And be very careful to not go inside huh? because you will have singularity, especially on the sharp edges and the software will not be able to compute. But that's actually pretty normal. And reverse the direction, always do an offset on the outside surface and one millimeter well, remember that it's a pretty small blade huh? so if you want to change that later you can also um, do a scale on that on that blade and change the offset huh? not one but maybe two millimeter okay uh, one millimeter thickness in that case it works pretty good huh? for one meter and yes you have a solid now so you can just hide uh, this and the shape looks pretty good. Uh, you can also, let's see if we can analyze our uh, analyze our blade uh, by view. So here the rendering is not really good, but if I put uh, outdoor, for example, well, it does not give that much uh, light. Studio, maybe. Uh, you can see here the, the, the light is pretty good. Uh, the best way maybe it will be to create uh, a material so tools i will create a, a material or i can just search in the material i have i'm not sure what i will do here maybe create my own material we'll see my first one that come is a uh, white paint okay so apply And I will apply that to my blade, oh, to my part, okay. And well, I will just quickly go to a live rendering to show you the surface. So here it is. I just want to show you the background. Okay, just tell me that my computer is okay for the rendering. And I just want to make a nice background like a sky background so let's see what we got mm, this one yes it's perfect and you want to make sure the back plate is white and you see now you have a very nice very nice blade perfect curvature uh, it's it's amazing <laughs> Okay, so that was it for my video. Thank you very much for watching, uh, for watching our video on the YouTube channel. Do not hesitate to subscribe and visit our website www.plmtechnology.com. And I hope to see you soon again. So thank you very much. Goodbye.